Ciao a tutti, sono Cristina from the Glazer Tutoring Company. Today we got a good one for you, right? We're going to be determining whether this given ordered pair is a solution to the system of equations. So we have one system here. A system of equations just represents a, a bunch of equations that are, you know, working together or, you know, just, just being talked about, right? In this case, a system has to be at least two equations, two or more. Here they give us two equations. So this is the system. Now, any anytime, <laughs> as I've been doing these system problems, right? I keep writing system, system of equations. And when I edit the videos, you know what I have to be listening to. Can anybody guess what music has to be on? Can you guess? Let me know in the comments. You might guess correctly. But anyway, so this beautiful system, right? Is this ordered pair a solution to the system? Now, an ordered pair is just a fancy way for saying a point on a graph, right? We've seen number common numbers, right, in parentheses. These are your x comma y's, right? x always comes first and the y always comes last. So the 3 is the x value and the 5 is the y value. So they gave us x and y's. If we want to find out if this is a system, now I'm thinking of the band, if this is a system, all we're going to do is we're going to plug in the values that they told us for x and y. So the x value that we're going to plug in is, yeah, you guessed it, 3, right? And the y value that they told us, the y value was 5. So for each y, I'm going to plug in a 5. Each x, I'm going to plug in a 3. I'm going to do the top equation on the left-hand side, the bottom one's going on the right. So let's just sub this in. So basically, we have a 3, because it's just 1x value, so a 3, plus 8 times the y value. The y value is 5, and let's see, will it equal 43? The next one is 3 times the x value. We did say that the x was 3, minus 2 times a y value, which is 5. And then, let's see, does it equal negative 1? Let's see. Let's go back to over here. 3 plus 8 times 5 is 40, and hopefully this equals 43, but yeah, 3 plus 40 is 43. So 43 equals 43. That sounds good to me, right? That's a check. You got the same number on both sides. If it was like 40 equals 43, that doesn't make any sense. That would be a big X. That doesn't equal. Now, let's just do the other one. 3 times 3 is 9, minus 2 times 5 is 10, and hopefully this turns out to be a negative 1. And yeah, it does. 9 minus 10 is a negative 1. So we got a big check on this side. So checks are good, X's are bad. Is this ordered pair a solution? Yes, it is. We got check marks. Now, just to put it into context as to what we just actually found out, just after I color this. But basically, since we just have an x value, it's not like x squared or x cubed, and the y value, we know that these are both linear lines. And the solution to the set is always the point that they have in common, which is the one in the middle. So if these two equations, the one in the middle is 3, 5. If we had a big no here, then the point that they gave us would probably be somewhere off the grid. Maybe it doesn't even, you know, maybe it, maybe it doesn't even touch both lines. But that's basically what we're looking for here. Isn't that cool? <laughs> all right, all right. But anyway, thank you for watching the video. I hope uh, this helped you out in your class learning about systems system <laughs> of equations. Um, I'm going to do some more videos and then definitely while I'm editing, you know what I'm going to be listening to. All right. So good luck in your future tests and quizzes. And I will talk to you in later lessons. Have a great day. Bye-bye.